Hey my friends, in the next few videos, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys different techniques you need to master henna leaves and vines. So if you're ready, let's get into it. The first technique is what I like to call tapering. So I'm gonna write this here for you. So this basically is a way for you to kind of master the gradual pressure that you need in order to execute leaves and vines. So what I mean by that is I will show you an example. So first you drape a line and you would add these leaves. And as you can see, there is a gradual increase of pressure and a release of pressure to create that pointed tip of the leaf. And so this is what I would call tapering, which is the skill that you need in order to achieve this. So in order to kind of get your muscle memory going, you can actually practice tapering just going in a straight line. So what you want to try to do is get a gradual increase in line weight and then a gradual decrease. And then you can keep going like that. And you can kind of see how this one isn't as gracefully tapered, so you can also practice going over it like that. And then as you can kind of see here towards the very end, I'm barely using any pressure on the cone and I'm just kind of using the tip of the cone to create that tapered effect. Um, you can also do it a little bit thicker too, so this is pretty gradual, but for some things you actually want to use a lot more pressure and then you go down like that so you can create really big luscious leaves that leave a great stain but once you get this down going in a straight line you can actually try to do it in a curved way so I really do find practicing things like this instead of just designs all the time can really help you achieve you know, what you are trying to do a lot faster. Um, you know, you're not really kind of getting hung up on creating something perfectly, but you're just rather practicing and getting your muscle memory down. So um, once you feel comfortable going straight across, you can actually start to try to taper in a curved form. And you can go as fast or slow as you want. This comes good also if you're learning to do other types of more complicated designs like hair even or even swirls having a tapered edge is really really important so you can just kind of have fun with it and just kind of get a feel with your wrist and your fingers how you have to move in a way to create a curved tapered line like this and what this is really helpful in, as far as leaves and vines go, is one of my favorite motifs, which usually starts with a swirl like this. And then I usually do one very long little leaf like this. And then I do two shorter ones that are going up the curve of the first one, like that. And so this, being able to move your wrist in a way to get those nice curves can take a bit of practice, which is why we are going over this today. And um, if this, creating this is really hard just on its own, you can always start off with just the swirl first. And if you just don't wanna go into it right away, you can try to use a very gentle pressure and create a guideline first just so you know where you want to put it. And so it's a lot easier, especially once you've done this, then you can basically just do this same concept, but in this shape now, as you can see. So once you've set that up, again, you're starting hardly any pressure, gradually increasing pressure slowly, slowly, and then decreasing pressure until you get to the very edge. You can use your fingers and a little bit of your wrist just to kind of create that really, really soft tapered point. So you can use guidelines. And then also one of my other favorite kind of vines 
is using two draped lines and they could be straight but curved is really really nice going like this and then I'll meet it at the top here and again so we're doing this tapered leaf but if it is curved you're gonna have to adjust the um, direction that the leaf is going in so here you can see the leaf is going out and then it's kind of cascading around it and this kind of gives a really nice organic feel to it so it really does feel like a vine so if you look in nature of course vines and leaves aren't always perfectly symmetrical or going in the same direction all the time so i really love the look of this so in order to create these beautiful leaves which i know is very hard in the beginning um, you know you're just going to want to practice this over and over again until you really get the hang of it and then there's really no limit you can pretty much create anything there's so many different types um, one of my other favorite variations you can say is a leaf going kind of out like this and then mirroring it going out the other way and then going up a little bit more pointed upwards and then a final one like this and this is just a really nice accent that I use all the time you can do it big or small um, but yeah so these this technique again is what I like to call tapering you're going to want to first kind of practice just going horizontally at first so increasing your pressure slowly decreasing your pressure and if you can get really comfortable with this you can then move on to doing more curvature and again like I said you can have fun with it because you are just wanting to get the feel of what it's like to do curves with various types of pressure basically because you're going to want to definitely get your swirls down you can even do really cool lettering techniques once you have the tapered effect handy and you feel confident in that there's so much you can do with this technique apart from just vines and leaves but that is the subject of the video and so this is just the first part um, there's two other techniques that I would say really are really great for developing your skills and creating leaves and vines and that's what we're going to be going over next